Today we're going to practice multiplication. The city needs to build more fire hydrants. For every block, they need to build two fire hydrants. How many hydrants must they build if the city has one block? So let's find our key information. How many do they need per block? They need two fire hydrants per block. We want to know how many fire hydrants will go on one block. So what is my multiplication problem? Two times one. Could I also say one times two if that were easier to work out? Yep. So two times one equals two. Next problem. Matilda purchased one package of gum, each containing three pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum does Matilda have? Okay, so let's mark our important information. How many packages of gum did she buy? One. And each pack has three pieces. So what is our multiplication sentence here? One times three equals what? How many total pieces of gum does she have? She has one package and there's three pieces of gum in that package. Three. Next, the city needs to build more fire hydrants. For every block, they need to build two fire hydrants. How many hydrants must they build if the city has one block? We already answered this question, but let's review. How many fire hydrants do they need for every block? Two. How many blocks are they talking about? One. So our multiplication sentence is two times one equals two times one equals two. The city needs to build more fire hydrant. For every block, they need to build three fire hydrants. How many hydrants must they build if the city has two blocks? Okay, so the same type of problem, but different numbers. There's three hydrants per block. How many blocks are there? Two. So what is my multiplication problem? Three times two equals. Three times two equals six. So they need a total of six hydrants. Next, for the school year, Logan purchased two boxes of pencils, each containing three pencils. How many pencils does Logan own? Okay, how many boxes did he buy? Two. Each box has how many pencils? Three. We want to find the total, so our multiplication sentence will be two times three. What is two times three? And if you're stuck, you can draw a picture. I would make two groups, those would represent my boxes, and I would put three in each. One, two, three, one, two, three. So two times three equals six. So he has six pencils. To get rid of a rash, Ethan needs to apply ointment three times a day for three days. How many times does he need to apply the ointment? Okay, what is our multiplication problem? How many times a day does he need the medicine? Three times. And for how many days? Three days. So it is three times three. If you don't know what three times three is, draw a picture. I have three groups. Those represent three days. And I put three in each. Those represent the number of times He's putting the medicine on per day. So three times three equals nine. Next one, to get rid of a rash, Matthew needs to apply ointment two times a day for two days. How many times does he need to apply ointment? So it's the same thing as the last problem, but different numbers. Two times a day for two days. What is the multiplication problem? Two times two, which equals four. 
the city needs to build more fire hydrants. For every block, they need to build one fire hydrant. How many hydrants must they build if the city has two blocks? We've seen two other problems similar to this already. So how many per block, one fire hydrant, and how many would there be on two blocks? So what is our multiplication problem? One times two, which equals two. So they would need two hydrants. Next one, Lily purchased two packages of gum, each containing two pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum does Lily have? How many packages? Two. Each package had how many pieces? Two. What is the multiplication problem? Two times two equals. Again, if you're stuck, draw a picture. Two packages with two sticks of gum in each. Two times two equals four total pieces of gum. Let's do one more. For class, Jack needs to read two books, each with one chapter. How many chapters does he have to read? Okay, so he has how many books to read, and each book has how many chapters? My multiplication problem would be what? Two times one. What is two times one? Two. So he would have a total between both books to read two chapters. Great job on these multiplication problems.